We opened the brink in a response to the fact that Liverpool was top of the league for alcohol-related harms and we just felt that we didn't want Liverpool to have that reputation anymore and we wanted the brink to be a trailblazer in, in, in changing that image for the city. We were seeing lots of people coming through our treatment centre who were doing fantastically well and then saying to us, everywhere in the city is full of alcohol, there's nowhere we can go where we feel completely safe. A whole chunk of our customers are just Joe and Josephine public who just enjoy the vibe. My own brother was killed by a drink driver, uh, a person who was an alcoholic who didn't get any help. And I think that my brother might be alive today if there were more places like the Brink Liverpool helping to transform people's lives. We really wanted to make recovery and not drinking and having a whole new fresh lifestyle as something highly visible to the Liverpool community. We have to extend our hand to people and continue to love them and support them no matter what behaviours they've been up to. That's not them, that's their addiction and their alcoholism speaking. Any dangerous, risky, near misses or anything we need to talk about? Um, I came to the brink of change, out of desperation really. You know, I was in a bad place and I've just finished 12 weeks of treatment. Sitting in group therapy sessions in the group environments, um, my listening skills are back in tune and I don't shout over people anymore. My patience has improved everything. Compassion, my self-esteem, um, through the roof. It's a safe haven, isn't it, really? 75% of the staff are in recovery themselves and they have absolutely transformed their lives. When I originally used to uh, pitch the idea to people of having a bar with no booze, everyone just laughed. The first person who didn't laugh, who really took me seriously, was the learning manager from the School of Social Entrepreneurs. When I took the idea to her, she said, this is fantastic and it really matches our health innovations course. From there on in, I've had two lots of support from SSE and from Lloyds and they have absolutely placed me in the right positions, in the in the front of the right people at the right time. And I do not think at all that the Brink would exist in the in the shape that it exists today without that support. When I see the transformation that those people in my family have made, that people in my community have made, I want that for the rest of the UK. It's just been an incredible blessing to see something so innovative and so transformative flourish in this city and I hope it's a legacy. Thank you.